welcome back to Quaint's next training session within the Accounts Receivable Job function. Today, we are reviewing a topic that is a staple to the AR role. That is, deposits within SAP Business One. Previously, we discussed the recording of incoming payments within SAP when an Accounts Receivable Specialist receives payment from a customer. We will now take that a step further to review how we can record the actual deposit of those payments into the bank and bank GL account within SAP Business One. To begin, let's click on the banking module in the main menu, select the deposits folder, and click deposit. This opens the deposit window to record the transaction. Let's get started. You will notice that the Deposits window opens in Add Mode. At the top of the Deposits screen, you can select a date in which transactions from SAP will be considered until for this particular deposit. By default, the current date is populated. The deposit currency is also populated automatically, but can be changed if needed. The next step is to select the GL account in SAP that represents the specific bank account that this deposit is related to. To select a GL account, you may type the number if you know it, or you can put your cursor in the GL account field and click the Choose From button. In our case, I will select the Cash App Bank checking account. Once the GL account is selected, be sure that the deposit date is correct in the top right-hand side of the window, and manually enter any bank information if you wish, although this is not required. At the bare minimum, I like to enter a bank reference for the deposit. You will now notice multiple tabs across the deposit screen. This represents the different payment means of the deposited funds. Unlike the incoming payment screen, the deposit is only recorded for one payment mean at a time, or per transaction. Let's first assume that we are depositing some checks into our company bank account. In this case, make sure that you are using the Checks tab. Below, you will choose to display checks from the specific clearing account of your choice. Then, you will see the list of checks received from the creation of incoming payments within SAP Business One. You can select the checks that are being deposited into the bank and verify the amounts. In the case that you are using cash flow functionality and reports within SAP Business One, you may also want to define a primary form item related to each check. If you wish, you can enter a journal remark and transaction number and even preview the related journal entry. When you have verified that the transaction looks correct, Click the Add button to record the transaction within SAP. Next, let's assume that we are depositing some credit card funds into our company bank account. Click on the Credit Card tab. Here, you will see a list of all customer credit card charges that were recorded as incoming payments within SAP. Simply click on the credit card charges that you are transferring or depositing into the bank account. This screen can become extremely useful if your company uses a credit card processor that transfers funds to the bank account every night, for example. You may see a list of the credit card charges or incoming payments that were recorded on the previous day and choose to use the deposit screen as a reconciliation tool to record the funds that transferred or deposited into the bank account overnight. Again, choose the primary form item related to each credit card charge if it is relevant to your business. Feel free to enter a journal remark and transaction number, and even preview the related journal entry that we saw previously. 
When you have verified that the transaction looks correct, click the Add button to record the transaction within SAP. And finally, let's now assume that you are making your weekly run to the bank on a Friday afternoon to deposit any cash on hand. To record this transaction within SAP Business One, be sure to click on the Cash tab. You may need to populate your company's bank GL account again at the top of the document. On the Cash tab, the GL account defined as the Cash on Hand account from the GL account determination is populated automatically. This can be updated manually if moving cash from a different petty cash type account. Enter the amount of cash to be deposited into the bank. If needed, enter the primary form item, journal remark, and or transaction number. Before adding this specific transaction, I have to consider my company's policies. For cash deposits, I am required to add a scanned copy of my deposit receipt to the deposit transaction in SAP. To do so, I click on the Attachments tab and browse for the related file. When you have verified that the transaction looks correct, click the Add button to record the deposit within SAP.